Hello everyone, you're welcome to so this nice exponential equation here, which is 8 to the power of x times 8 to the power of x. This is equal to 108. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. This exponential equation is in the form of 8 to the power of n times 8 to the power of m, which we can express as 8 to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 8 to the power of x plus x. This is equal to 108. So here we have 8 to the power of x plus x. This is 2x. Then this is equal to 108. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. Stuff that we have log 8 to the power of 2x. This is equal to log 108. So we find that log 8 to the power of 2x. This is in the form of log 8 to the power of n, which can be expressed as n log a. Applying this power rule property, then log 8 to the power of 2x becomes 2x log 8. This is equal to log 108. So let's divide both signs by log 8 and also here by log 8. So let's simplify log 8 and log 8 here so that now 2x is equal to log 108 divided by log 8. So we have that we can express 108. This is the same thing as 36 multiplied by 3. So we can substitute 108 to that 6 times 3 so that we have 2x. This is equal to log 36 multiplied by 3. Then divided by log 8. Now we have that log 36 times 3. This is in the form of log A times B, which can be expressed as log A plus log B. Now let's apply this logarithm property. Now applying this logarithm property here, then we have 2x. This is equal to log 36 divided by log 8. Then plus here we have log 3 divided by log 8. The next step is that we can express that the 6. This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2. And we can express 8. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. Substituting this, we have 2x is equal to, now we have log 3 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2, then divided by log 2 to the power of 3, then plus log 3, divided by log 8, which is log 2 to the power of 3. So again, we have that log 3 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2. This is in the form of log A times B, which can be expressed as rock A plus rock B. So now here we have 2x. This is equal to, now we have rock 3 to the power of 2 divided by rock 2 to the power of 3, then plus rock 2 to the power of 2 divided by rock 2 to the power of 3, then plus rock 3 divided by rock 2 to the power of 3. Now, rock 3 to the power of 2 and rock 2 to the power of 3 here. This is in the form of rock A to the power of N, which can be expressed as N rock A. Now, applying this power of property of logarithm, then we have 2x. This is equal to 2 rock 3 divided by 3 rock 2, then plus 2 
rog 2 divided by 3 rog 2 then plus here we have rog 3 divided by 3 rog 2 so let's simplify here rog 2 and rog 2 simplifies so that now we have 2x this is equal to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 now we have rog 3 divided by rog 2 then plus 1 over 3 then we have rog 3 divided by rog 2 the next step here is that rog 3 over rog 2 this is in the form of rog a divided by rog b which we can express as rog a to base b so let's apply this logarithm property from here applying this logarithm property then we have 2x is equal to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 then we have rog 3 to base 2 then plus 1 over 3 rog 3 to base 2 now the next step from here let's divide both signs by 2 and this implies that here we have that x is equal to now this is 2 over 3 times a half then plus here we have 2 over 3 times a half rog 3 to base 2 then plus 1 over 3 times a half rog 3 to base 2 let's simplify here 2 and 2 simplifies and also 2 and 2 here simplifies so that now we have x is equal to 1 over 3 plus here we have 1 over 3 rog 3 to base 2 then plus here we have 1 over 3 times 2 which is 6 then rog 3 to base 2 now this is the value of x this is the value of x the next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation so let's verify from here now if you recall we have that 8 to the power of x times 8 to the power of x this is equal to 1 or 8 now we've seen that this exponent equation is in the form of 8 to the power of n times a to the power of m which can be expressed as a to the power of n plus m therefore here we have 8 this to the power of x plus x which is 2x this is supposed to give us a value of 1 or 8 let's substitute x here so that now here we have 8 to the power of 2 multiplied by x which is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 rog 3 to base 2 then plus 1 over 6 rog 3 to base 2 close the parentheses this is supposed to give us a value of 1 or 8 now the next step from here we can express 8 basically as 2 to the power of 3 so let's substitute this now let's substitute 8 with 2 to the power of 3 so that we have 2 to the power of 3 times 2 into the parentheses we have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 this is rog 3 to base 2 then plus 1 over 6 this is rog 3 to base 2 cross the parentheses here this should give us a value of 1 over 8 now let's simplify here 3 and 3 here simplifies so this means that we have 2 to the power of 2 times 1 which is 2 then plus on the second part here 3 and 3 again simplifies so we have plus 2 rog 3 to base 2 then plus now here we have 
we simplify 6 here, so by 3, 1, by 3, this is 2, then 2 and 2 here simplify, so we have row 3 to base 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 108. The next step again here, we have that 2 row 3 to base 2, 2 is a power here, so this can be expressed as 2 to the power of 2, then plus row 3 to the power of 2 to base 2, then plus here we have row 3 to base 2. This again should give us a value of 108. Now, 2 to the power of 2 plus row 3 to the power of 2 to base 2 plus row 3 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m. And this can be expressed as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of rho, 3 to the power of 2 to base 2, multiplying by 2 to the power of rho, 3 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 108. The next step is that 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4. So this implies here we have 4 multiplying by 2 to the power of rho, 3 to the power of 2 to base 2, multiplying by 2 to the power of rho 3 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 108. The next step is that 2 raised to the power of rho 3 to the power of 2 to base 2 and 2 to the power of rho 3 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a, and this is supposed to give us a value of b. Applying this logarithm property, then 2 to the power of rho 3 to the power of 2 to base 2, this is equal to 3 squared, which is equal to 9. And 2 to the power of rho 3 to base 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 3. Substituting 9 and 3 back to the equation, then we have 4 times 9 times 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 108. So 9 times 4, this is 36, times 3, this is 108, which is equal to 108. And this clearly defines that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this shows that the value of x here which is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 row 3 to base 2 plus 1 over 6 row 3 to base 2 satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video Bye-bye for now.